Hey guys, so as most of you know, there have been a lot of trailers dropping over the last few weeks, and one of the biggest ones is Independence Day Resurgence. Now don't get me wrong, I like the 1996 Independence Day film, but I don't love it. I think it's good for what it is, which is a turn your brain off popcorn film that came out in the 90s. However, I don't think that a f tr sequel this late on would work. Because there are either two ways it's going to go. It's either going to be a turn your brain off popcorn film that's made in 2016, but feels like it should have been made in the 90s, or the direction that most films go down these days, a CGI heavy, too dark and way too serious film that doesn't take itself se that takes itself way too seriously. But the problem is both of those two results have positives and negatives if handled right. But the problem is it's being helmed again by Roland Emmerich, whose back catalogue isn't flawless. I mean, Independence Day is a good film. The Day After Tomorrow is still another good film, but it is very slow. He's, he's very inconsistent. He'll make one good film, then he'll make a shit one, then he'll make another good film, then he might make an alright one, and then make a shit film again. Uh, but, I mean, there is no knowing what kind of film he will make. So, And by the looks of this one, I don't really know what to expect, which I suppose is a good thing. But again, seeing that it's Roland Emmerich, who the fuck knows what's going to happen. Now, please don't get upset by what I'm about to say, but I do think that this trailer is a little bit like the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 trailer. Solely due to the fact that it's fan service. I mean, the speech that I think is taken straight from the first film that is used in this trailer, I think is used really well. But the fact that we're shown all the characters from the first one, except Will Smith, and the fact that we are shown that speech again kind of makes it feel like, you remember this? Well, we're going to do it again. Or, you remember these? Yeah, we're going to make you like that, but the film's going to be nothing like the first one. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's either going to be really misleading fan service, or it is actually going to mean something. And don't get me wrong, I love seeing Bill Pullman and Jeff Goldblum as much as the next person. But I do think that they are going for, you remember these guys? Yeah, they're in the new one. Now, when it actually comes to the footage used, some bits I do like and some bits I don't. I do feel that some of the shots are the tone that I don't want the film to go, which is way too serious and way too dark. However, there are a couple of foot clips as well that are really impressive and do look really good. Uh, I don't get why the aliens are now flying clouds, though. That that one escapes me. If you've seen the new Independence Day Resurgence trailer, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think about it, because I'm kind of mixed about it. I kind of like it, but I kind of don't. I don't know how to feel. I mean, it looks okay. But it does feel like fan service, but that's just my opinion. But I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Anyway, guys, that's the video for today. Uh, remember to like this video and like my Facebook page, The Media Critic, as well as subscribing to this channel, which would be absolutely fantastic. And, yeah, that's it for today, guys. Bye.